If you wanna achieve anything faster in life, you need to find a coach. Today, we're gonna to talk about the 10 things to look for in a great coach. Anything that I'm looking to achieve, I hire a coach. Whether it's playing guitar, learning how to Olympic lift, or learning how to do YouTube. It is a proven way to get you to where you wanna go faster. But how do you know if you found the right coach? I'm gonna give you 10 questions that you can ask to know if you found the right one. Question number one, have they done the thing that you are trying to do? Most coaches have been through the experience that you are trying to achieve, and it's much better to work with somebody who has the real world experience that they can share with you so when you get stuck, they can get you moving forward. Number two, have they helped other people do the thing that you're trying to do? It's great if they've done it themselves, but if they've done it with other people, then they have a system that is proven that will also work with you. Number three, do they ask you genuine questions? A good coach is gonna ask you a lot of questions to find out where you are so they can get you to where you wanna be. Number four, do they take notes when you talk to them? If a coach is not taking notes, I know they're not gonna remember anything that I say. So you want a coach that actually writes down the things that you say or types it up so that they can refer back to that later. Number five, do they care about themselves or do they care about you? So you wanna find a coach that is more concerned with you than they are with themselves. Number six, do they have a plan for you? When you sit down with your coach and you've given them all the information, do they actually spell out and map out a plan that is gonna get you to where you wanna be? Only a really strong coach can freestyle it along the way. Most coaches are gonna need a plan and you're gonna need a plan so that you can see where you're going. Number seven, how do you feel when you're done talking with them? If your coach makes you feel like crap every time you talk to them, they make you feel like you are not getting any better or you keep messing things up, don't spend more time with that coach. You want a coach that actually makes you feel like you're making progress, a coach that is celebrating you, that is highlighting the bright spots. So pay attention to how you feel after you talk to your coach. Number eight, the question to advice ratio. You want your coach to ask you about 60% questions and give you about 40% advice. If you have a coach that asks one question and then starts telling you what to do, that is not a good coach because they don't understand you, they don't understand your background, they don't understand where you're coming from. You want a coach that asks more questions than gives you advice. Number nine, do they have filters for the people that they work with? If they'll just take anybody off the street, they're probably not a good coach. Most coaches know that if you spend your time with the right type of clients, you'll get results. And if you really care about getting results, you won't just take money from anyone off the street. You'll be very selective about who you actually work with. So look for a coach with filters for their clients. Number 10, do they have coaches? If your coach isn't trying to improve themselves, then there's a limit to how much they can improve you. So look for a coach that also hires coaches to help them improve on the things that they need work on. Now here at Hale, we talk about coaches, not trainers. We did another video where we talk about the difference between a trainer and a coach, so go check that one out next. And do us a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next one.